I may be somewhat late to the party, but I have just discovered piston fountain pens. And I love using fountain pens for urban sketching, but I'm always a bit concerned that I've got to take a bottle of ink with me and I'll run out during the day. But piston fountain pens are terribly clever because the whole of this chamber fills with ink. So the capacity is about twice that of a normal converter. So you can fill it up with whatever ink you want and then go out for the day and you're not going to run out of ink. I started with these really cheap dollar 717i piston pens just to give them a go. And I got 10 for 7.99, so 80p each. And they've actually been loads of fun. So much fun that I decided to upgrade. And I have seen online lots of very good comments about Twisby pens and the Twisby Eco. So I thought I would review the Twisby Eco from the point of view of an urban sketcher because all the other reviews I've seen have been more from the calligraphy point of view and I want to draw with this rather than write. So first things first, what does Twisby actually stand for? Um, and I looked it up and it stands for San Wen Tong Bai and it's actually obviously Tong Wen San which means the Hall of Three Cultures, because Twisby is a Taiwanese company. It's the Hall of Three Cultures, and then ba, ba or B is a writing instrument. And what I really quite liked was it, they said their aim is to recapture the romanticism of art and literature, starting with the pen. The next thing to note is that eco doesn't stand for ecological, it stands for economy. So this is the cheap version of the pen. Their other pens aren't extortionate, but they are more expensive. It comes in a nice clear case, so that's good. And then let's have a look. We've got the contents, but just before I do that, we've got some little instructions. It tells you how to fill it. And then it says wipe the nib. Well, would have done that. And it also shows you how to disassemble it. Well, I'm certainly not going to try that because I don't want to break it. If I ever need to disassemble it, I will. <laughs> comes with a little wrench and I guess immediately shows that it is a quality pen because you can take it apart and you can maintain it. Whereas, you know, my cheapest chips dollar pens, if they, they break, crack, they are disposable. And I certainly like the idea of something that's got longevity to it and quality. So it has a little wrench. It's got some silicon grease. It's got a little warning sign that I mustn't use alcohol to clean this. Wasn't going to. And then it just shows you how to fill. I've looked up online and they come in all different colours. Obviously, I've got a white one, but they come in black, rose gold, you know, sky blue, pink, whatever colour you want. The moment you get it out of the box it feels kind of nice and weighty. It's got a good feel to it and once it's full it'll feel even better. So what I'm looking for in an urban sketching fountain pen is that it's got to be good quality. It's got to be tough. This is going to get thrown in my rucksack and taken around with me. I want a large ink capacity so I can fill it up once in a day and it won't run out. I really want to make sure it doesn't leak in my bag. So again, the quality is important and the fit of something like the cap and everything, really important. I want it to write first time or draw first time. Get it out of my bag, I want the ink to flow. Frankly, I do want it to look nice. I look, want it to look interesting. It's, it's nice to use pleasant instruments. On taking it out of the box, on the aesthetics front, I think that looks pretty cool. Feels weighty. It does feel like nice quality. If I look at it compared to my, my cheap dollar pen, it looks better. You know, there's no way around it. it. It looks as if the build quality is better. And I say I'm very 
encouraged by the fact that it comes with a wrench so I can maintain it and look after it. It has an inner lid which is really good so it's designed not to leak. I guess the thing to do is to fill it up and see what it's like. I'm going to try this document ink from Koinor. I've done a little film about the different types of fountain pen inks so if you're interested do look for that. So the piston mechanism is very simple make sure it's all the way in dip into the ink so it's fully submerged and then just twiddle the end and it sucks up the ink now i wonder if you can see that it hasn't totally filled if you wanted to fill it to the absolute capacity what i would do is very gently hold it hold it vertically very gently move the filling mechanism to squeeze out extra air then dip it again and pull up any extra ink as suggested just wipe everything over so that we don't get too mucky one thing i noticed with this pen is that there's no protection mechanism so if I don't know, someone picked this up and twiddled the end, they are going to get covered in ink. Whereas my little cheap dollar one has a protective cap. So you have to take that off before you can twiddle, twiddle the end there, which I think is a really good idea, especially if you've got kids around. It now feels even weightier because apparently it can take 1.8 millilitres of ink in there and honestly that is going to keep you going for ages. Let's just grab a piece of ordinary paper and it writes straight away which is lovely. It feels good. It comes in all the nib sizes you'd expect. This is a fine uh, so it does come in an extra fine, medium, bold and then a stub nib as well. Sort of thing I do this was done with the dollar fountain pen. And again, that's about a fine, that's a similar width. And I think you'd get away with it in this size, but if you're doing a smaller sketch, I'd go for the extra fine. What remains is to put them to the test. I thought I'd show you how I drew these pens in the Twisby Eco and the dollar 717 and see how they performed against each other. You can see I actually have already done this, but forgot to press the, the button um, on my video, which is a little bit annoying. I'll do a couple more here. Here I was testing fountain pen inks to see what they're like. So if you're interested on, in that, I'll put a link to the video in the description. This is the dollar $717, and I'm going to see how that feels by just drawing another of the pens. It feels very smooth as it writes, or not as it writes, as it draws, which is lovely. The ink flows nicely. It's not sort of skipping at all. Um, this has been filled for about a week, I think. And the moment I picked it up, the ink started to flow. I didn't have to scribble and, and when you're drawing with a fountain pen rather than writing with it you are looking for different things i want to see how wet it writes because if it writes very wet i'm going to have to wait a long time before i put water or water color over the top because even though this is platinum carbon ink really waterproof if it's still wet it will run so that was my little dollar pen felt nice felt good to use. Now this is my Twisby, which I obviously have high hopes for and want it to feel just as good, if not better, because it was considerably more expensive. It does feel very smooth to write, to draw, so that's great. The ink is flowing nicely. It doesn't look too wet. So I would be hopeful of it 
drying quickly so that I can carry on with my painting or putting a wash over the top. So the capacity is really important because if you're going out sketching all day, it would be nice to be able to fill it up and not to have to take a bottle of ink with you. I'm trying to compare the line and see, they're very similar weight line. I would be hard pressed to say that one is thicker or thinner than the other. I thought that was a medium and this was a fine, but that could be my memory to be perfectly honest. So I'm just putting a little wash over the top just to bring that to life. And none of that ink is moving. Actually, that's a little bit bright. Let's tone that down. Yeah, none of that ink's moving. That's lovely. Yeah, none of that ink appears to be moving at all. From that little test, I have to say, performance-wise, I would be really hard-pressed to tell the difference. Feel-wise, this does feel better quality and because it's got a bigger capacity, it feels a better weight in the hand. It, it really does feel nice. The deciding factor, I think, will be if I leave them for a couple of weeks, then pick them up, will they start writing immediately or will I have to scribble and scribble? Now this is waterproof ink, so if you're not using your fountain pen for a couple of weeks, I really would recommend emptying it and flushing it through because what you don't want is for the ink to dry in there. So after all that, my conclusion is that it seems to be pretty durable. Ask me in a year's time. It's certainly good looking and it's really easy to use. So if you're considering a decent quality piston fountain pen to use when you go sketching, I reckon the Twisby Eco is a pretty good bet.